Turning now to what's making soap opera headlines. There's a big anniversary coming out of The Young and the Restless as actress Melody Thomas Scott is celebrating a milestone of 40 years on the show. We're checking in now with Soap Opera Digest editorial director Stephanie Sloan for more details. All right, Stephanie, you recently talked with the star. What did she have to say to you about her big anniversary? Melody admits that she wasn't too keen on taking the role because she had auditioned for a sitcom at the same time and really wanted to do that. She followed her agent's advice to take YNR, and the rest is history. Melody says the three questions she has asked the most are about Nikki's early days as a stripper, Nikki's drinking, and of course her longtime co star, Eric Braden. Who in the cast has made her laugh the most over the years? Joshua Morrow, Christian LeBlanc, and Doug Davidson. All right, Stephanie, you also have news that two actors are making their departures from Days of Our Lives. Billy Flynn and Kate Mancy, who play the very popular Chad and Abigail, are leaving the show after their characters get married. Kate, who only returned to the soap for a brief stint to wrap up the story, tells me she was excited for Chad and Abby, or Chabby as they're known to fans, to finally get a happy ending. The show's head writer, Ron Carlovati, revealed to me that the door is open for them to come back. And Kate adds that she would return since there's so much more to discover with these characters. And some actors take on multiple roles during their careers, but for a soap star, the very first is always special. Stephanie, you recently talked with some of the soap stars about their soap opera debuts. What can you share with us? YNR's Christian LeBlanc started his soap career back in the 80s as Kirk on As the World Turns. He says his first friend was Meg Ryan, who played Betsy. And later, he became pals with Marissa Tomei. GH's Elizabeth Hendrickson aired on All My Children in 2001. And her first scene on her first day on the job was with Susan Lucci. B&B's Torsten K says his first day on the job at One Life to Live was so great because he got to make out with Susan Haskell, who ultimately became his real-life wife. All right, Stephanie, you're always striking up interesting conversations with the stars. I know you got some more fun facts for us. What else? We asked the stars what they think is the coolest set on their show. GH's Maurice Bernard says it's the hospital set because it has so much history. For YNR's Jason Thompson, it's the dining room in the Abbott House because it means a lot to him to film the family scenes. B&B's Annika Noel loves Wyatt's Beach House, which she says she wishes was an Airbnb that she could stay in. Oh, Stephanie, thanks so much. For more stories like these, be sure to pick up the latest issue of Soap Opera Digest. It is on sale now.